is it that uh, Valentines always evolve around food? Well, now that you mention it, both food and sex utilise the same neurotransmitters and neuroendocrine systems in the brain. Both activities generate dopamine, the pleasure hormone, and share the same neural pathways. They are the two most basic drives in the human animal. You're not a romantic, are you? What makes you say that? Well, pay attention, you might learn something. Um, spoiler alert. <laughs> We've got a scene happening straight behind you and uh, you guys have now got the best seats in the house. Congratulations. <laughs> Everyone here, I'm afraid, you're gonna have to turn your chairs around. Ladies and gentlemen, take it away, Jess. Herefordshire, 1959. Get in there, go on. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Too bad we can't tell old Dory, oh, though. I'm still grinning about how much you got for Buster. I ain't seen many rounds like him. <laughs> oh, bloody women, what are they doing here? Yeah, oh, not bad looking, Dad. Why? Oh, yeah. tip tough girls, eh? Yeah. They've been there a cut above, but they let the kids outside eating ice cream. <laughs> okay. Did you? Oh. You're long overdue getting itched, but not, not to her, though. We need breeding stock. Younger, with more meat on them. <laughs> Come on, let's get a drink. We had a good day for once. <laughs> Maybe just the one then, Dad, eh? Two points, your best, please. There you go, <laughs> lovely. Some hours later. <clears throat> that smells good. What are you making? The usual. Pie and mash. Apple crumble for afters. Well, my dad's a trifle guy, but I love an apple crumble. <laughs> Your husband's a lucky man. Ain't got one. Hmm. Mother says single at my age is left on the shelf. Well, that would be a waste. <laughs> What's your name? Carol. As in Christmas. <laughs> I'm Charlie. As in daft. <laughs> I haven't seen you here before. I've just moved here, haven't I? Living in US Harold oh. now. I came to work. Uh, Ted, the landlord's my uncle. And uh, who's going to do this lot? Oh, should be Mary, but she's ill today. Well, leave it to me. A man washing up? Yes. Wonders never cease? Right. <laughs> OK, here we go. <laughs> there we go. see. All spec and span. Are you here every market day or...? I am. And why'd you ask? Well, I'll see you next weekend then. I think you might. <laughs> You finish making a fool of yourself with this scrawny weft. Wear an apron, why don't you? A woman <clears throat> takes care of you, not the other way around. <laughs> Come on, go sit home. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> oh, come on, don't be like that. We made a great start. Beginnings are easy. Yep. He's my dad. He's been working like a dog since he was 10 years old. I mean, yeah, he's a bit rough around the edges, but still, I mean, let me give you a hand with that, Chant, come on. I don't need anyone helping or judging, so off you pop. <sighs> Daddy's waiting. But will I see you next weekend, though? Maybe, but not if you bring him. Yeah, well, <laughs> come on, Dad. Yes. This way, come on. Get over there. Three months later. Hey, Carol, Carol. Carol, we finally sold old Dory. Oh. I've got money burning holes in my pockets. Come out on me Saturday night. Let's go dancing or something. I don't think so, Charlie. Oh, and I've done enough washing up to earn the night out, Carol. Come on. You better read this. From your dad to my uncle. Dear Ted, continuing our conversation from yesterday evening, I insist that my son's lié... Like, like... Lié... Liaison. 
Uh-huh. My son's liage, liaison with your niece ends. It serves neither family's interests nor our professional arrangement. I am therefore forced to... St- oh, Carol, th- this is ridiculous. Either you stop working here or your dad stops supplying him with meat. Oh, just ignore him, obviously. I need this job, Charlie. I don't have any options. Uh, Carol, I've been thinking... Right, the black lion on Bridge Street is up for rent. I was thinking that me oh, and you, oh, we could start. Such a dream. Well, oh, come on, I was thinking we could do it out all American style. You know, like one of the diners in the movies. We could have a colors all over the walls, a jukebox in the corner playing all the hits, hamburgers and, and milkshakes and stuff, and booze, of course, because we are British, so. That will never work in Hereford, Charlie. Meat in a bun, uh, French fries on the side. Oh. I mean, people will laugh in our faces. It's the future, Carol. I'm sure of it. Oh. And it'll get you away from this place. And I was thinking that maybe me and you, we could maybe... Charlie Prosser, <sighs> are you asking me to marry you? Well, not just yet, Carol, no. but I will. I will. When I'm a man of means. You know, I take over the farm in six months on Dad's birthday, so... And then all of our dreams. Come true. That's the spirit. (laughs) (laughs) But until then, we just have to keep our heads down. You mean stop seeing each other? No, Mm -hmm. no, no, no. I mean, I stop telling Dad where I'm off to and you can just keep stone with Ted. If Stan finds out, he'll disown you. Carol, Mm -hmm. you, you're beautiful. Mm. (laughs) But you worry too much. Having said that, we had better go to Ross on Saturday night. (laughs) Five months and 29 days later. (sighs) Good night, Carol. Oh, good night, love. Oh, better see you next week. We'll get back to those kids. (laughs) Go and say. All right, you too. You and I need to have words. Really, Stan? And, uh, and what would that be about? I hear rumours. Oh, well, you know, people round here, they just open their mouths and let the wind blow their tongues about. Nevertheless, I hear you're leading my boy astray. I hear that once he gets to farm, you'll swoop in and marry him. Your boy is a grown man, Stan. Maybe you should treat him as such. He carries my name, and if he wants to farm, I'll have a say in things. Then you best talk to your son. Not me. I got my own work to do. And where might he be then? That's not my responsibility, Stan. You Come can't on, my love. What? Ways. Dad. I knew mm. it. Look at you. You're a goddamn disgrace. Wearing a woman's apron and this one's at that. Now, just a minute, Stan. I have tried to be civil. Oh, you. Your tongue. Oh, don't you talk to her like that, do I? Oh, oh. oh. No, don't you. As your grown man, I'll offer you a choice, a future, a livelihood, a family, a farm, or this woman. And if you choose her, I'll make sure you won't have a job either. I'll be back here this time tomorrow, on my birthday, mind you, so you can let me know your decision then. Hey, Carol, I... Now I love my say. I will not be the woman that takes everything from you. I love you and I I would marry you in the blink of an eye, but I I can't break a man from his family. It's not right. What what is wrong with you? (laughs) This is no trifling matter. You'd marry me in the blink of an eye. Is that all you heard? That's all that matters. Charlie (sighs) has been daft. Feels like Christmas to me, Carol. Have you (sighs) got a plan? We have to win him over. It's as simple as that. <laughs> There's a surefire way to every man's heart. And on his birthday. <laughs> I'll give you a list of everything we need. Stan's birthday. Oh, great. Oh, let me do the talking. Thick as thieves, I see. So that's your answer then. Actually, Stan, <clears throat> this is our answer. What the bloody hell do you mean, woman? Hear it out, Dad. She might surprise you. Stan, 
Mr. Prosser, I understand that it is wrong to separate a man from his family <clears throat> and his future. So? So, 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 I made you this birthday trifle as an apology for all the upset caused. A peace offering. Let's eat together and then after whatever you decide, Charlie and I will abide by it. Well, I do love a trifle. Oh. And it is my birthday. But don't think you'll get around me. Oh. Mmm. This is a tidy trifle. <laughs> nice and boozy. Mm. Yeah. Mm. No. Oh. Mm. Mm. You know, son, I'm not surprised you felt a woman like her if she cooks like this. <laughs> Doesn't make her right, mind you. Mm. Well, I'm glad you like it, Dad, and uh, I'm sorry if you felt that I let you down, or... I'm sorry I smacked you around the ear, son, but it was only to make you listen. And I'm sorry about the washing up, Sam. Mmm, man. Would you want to know anything mm. for a woman that's caught their eye? <laughs> uh, so, um, what's the verdict? You, lady, make the finest trifle I've ever eaten. <laughs> and you <laughs> should marry this woman now. <laughs> and together, you can run the farm. <laughs> Are you sure, Dad? I've never been sure of, <laughs> of anything <laughs> in my life. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> uh, well, everyone heard that. <laughs> well, off to the church then whilst he sleeps it off. <sighs> hey. <laughs> oh, but who, who'll do the washing up? <laughs> well, <clears throat> I think he can do it when he wakes up. <laughs> hey. Uh, what exactly did you put in that trifle? Oh. Um, let's just call it the spirit of love. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Whilst the names have been changed. <laughs> Dude, get up, man. Oh. Oh. I'm in the middle of a show. Sorry. Whilst the names have been changed, the real Carol and Charlie did meet in the Temple Bar Inn in US Harold. Dishes were washed and they were married within a year. Now, please, bon appetit. <laughs>